Yo, what's up, guys? Intern Jeff. Uh, I was forced to do this, you know. The only way I can move up in the ranks throughout the Paul Farrington show is if you like, subscribe, comment. It all goes a long way. Zach wants everyone to know he is very happy, and we're actually going to lead off with Tua Tagovailoa and the Miami Dolphins because... Fins up, boys. What, Fins what up. a win that was for you guys. It's too bad we don't have a camera on Zach today because he's... A, what, what is that? Is that your... This is a Tua, Tua jersey. jersey? It's yeah. Tua. I wore Tua Hill jersey. for the game. Yeah, Hill yesterday. Um... Yeah, guys, I, Andrew, I know you hate him, but two attack of Iloa yesterday. I don't 36, hate him. 36 of 50, 469 yards and six touchdowns. Do you know his fourth quarter stat line? I have it written down here, but have you heard uh, it? I know he threw for like three or four touchdowns. 13 for 17, 199 yards, four touchdowns. Yeah, I'm happy that uh, somebody was happy this weekend. So exactly. <laughs> uh, I was ecstatic. But uh, like I said, I, I don't hate Tua. He has never like, like I hate Tom Brady. I don't hate Josh Allen yet. Like, when these guys kill the Jets and rip their heart out, that's when I'll hate them. So I don't hate him, but he... Um, yeah, like, you said you'd give him credit when he played well. Listen, like... <laughs> like <laughs> no, I, I, I said I'd give him credit when I saw him play well. I was oh, busy geez, watching the Jets' generational oh, comeback. Come so. on. <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, come on. Yeah, I mean, I didn't see it myself either. I didn't watch it. Listen, this, I, I will say on record, if the, if the Bills come in to Miami next week... He plays well, has like whatever, 300 yards, 275, and three touchdowns. I will get off the, the take that he is terrible. Okay. Ziggy, let me go to you because I know that you have a lot of thoughts on this. Tua Tagovailoa, great game. The weapons around him, phenomenal. We know that Tyree Kale brings a completely new dimension to this Dolphins offense. Are you a believer in Tua, and can they win the AFC East? Like, what is the ceiling of this Miami Dolphins team? Well, I was certainly impressed. Um, I'm still not convinced Tua is like a top-tier quarterback, but he did a lot more than I thought he would even considering the weapons around him. But I think the thing people have to keep in mind is this was an incredible comeback, right? They were trailing by 21 points entering the fourth, but he played poorly enough to put them in that position. And I think we just, well, this, we, I, being down 21 going into the yeah. fourth and throwing for, what was it, three or four touchdowns in the fourth quarter? That's that's yeah, not sustained. Yeah, he threw for, that's not sustainable. So I think we're going to have to see a lot more for to be confident that this Dolphins team can beat the Bills because the Bills have nothing left to prove, right? They've proven they can hang with the big boys. They've got an elite offense. They've got a strong defense. The Dolphins have a historically terrible defense right now and a medium offense that showed up big in one moment. That's also on that that dumbass defensive coordinator from from Michigan. What I mean, I I did see clips and Tua was making the throws, but like. Tyreek Hill and Jalen Waddle were running wide, wide open. open. So wide open. he got him the ball, which, again, there's been Jets quarterbacks who we've had guys running wide open and they can't get him the ball. So I will give him that. Yeah, a, few of them, a few of those throws are you know, 55, 60 yards in the air. Yeah, yeah. He, he, played, he played well. Jack, what were you going to say? Yeah, so I was, uh, Ziggy, like, I do agree there. Tua, what he, what he showed us in that fourth quarter was, was greatness. It was a ceiling, and it showed that he can accomplish that, which was great, and that's what Miami needs. But he also showed an incredible low. For the first three quarters, it was 35 to 14. They were getting and, blown out. And he yeah, looked horrible. Uh, so I, I do agree that he needs to show me more on a consistent basis for me to really hop on his bandwagon. But I, I, I got closer to hopping on his bandwagon from that fourth quarter, for sure. Can they compete with Buffalo, though? No. No? I still would probably say no. Well, I think, I think I, that the Dolphins are, are in the right track, honestly. And if Tua is the re, like this guy who some of you think he is, that, that definitely helps him a lot. But the Bills are... Probably the Super Bowl team. favorites, and well, the Dolphins are not there yet. I think Miami's good. Oh, yeah, they're not I, bad I, I, at all. I, I no. think they're a playoff team better than the Steelers. We stink. But, like, I don't, but, like, but it's just a matter of Buffalo being probably the best team in football. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't know. In Miami, though, I... Go on, Ziggy. Here's the nice thing, though, is the Dolphins over the next four weeks are going to be playing the Bills, the Bengals, and the Vikings. They get a chance to prove they belong, right? A lot of teams, you have to wait For until sure. late in the season sure. to see... This Dolphins team is going to have a very clear idea of who they are by the end of October. Just like the Jets. Yeah. But we, taken like, too oh, much we, we know who the Jets are. are. We know who the Jets <laughs> are. Winners. I, I haven't taken too much of a look at the Week 3 slate yet, but I, I have to think that Dolphins-Bills is, is probably the game of the week because if they're able to win, if Miami can get this done, I mean, all of a sudden now we're talking, we're talking about a team that, that, yeah, maybe they could contend for the AFC East title. Uh, it's a big game. If you lose it, I, I think that... That's yeah. They're, they're de- it's either that or Jets Bengals. Our game of the week. It's just man. I'm pretty confident if you lose about, to Buffalo, uh, Steelers that Browns. Buffalo runs away at the division at some point. But a win here, and, and maybe thoughts start to change. What I learned though is that when Miami's clicking, when two is rolling, 
I mean, their best punch can knock out anyone in the NFL. The thing is, though, they need that fourth quarter effort for four quarters against, against the Buffalo, Buffalo Bills. Yeah. Oh, yeah. To win that game. They got to score 35. They, they, they got to hang in the 30s, which, yeah. they, which they could. But if two is having a bad a bad The day, Bills also have an elite defense. It is, it's going to be tough. It's, it's yeah. going to be tough. Two is, two is the story today. But those receivers, Waddle and Hill, oh, when yeah, you watch phenomenal. them, the speed that Miami brings to the table, I can't. I don't know if there's another team in the NFL that can match them. No, you're speed looking at speed. two. You're looking at two receivers who both had over 150 yards and a pair of touchdowns. When was the Incredible. have we ever seen that before? No, they were the first in the Super Bowl era to have over 11 or 10 plus receptions over 170 80 plus, each, right? What they had. 179 was Waddle. Yeah. But it was like to have 10 receptions, have 170 yards, and two touchdowns. They're the only one in history to ever do that. Oh, no. They were incredible all day. And I think that that's been a, an underappreciated story of, of the weekend is just, just how good these weapons are in Miami. The Gusecki catch was unbelievable. I mean, what did what he catch that at? Like, like 9, 10 feet in the air? Yeah. yeah he played about. basketball. Yeah. He's yeah. gritty after, though. He's, Paul, you might have to no, go teach him some gritty after. I love that gritty. Oh, my yeah. <laughs> that was like my gritty. <laughs> it's a hor- I can see that. I, I can see that. That's probably better than my gritty. <laughs> just, just put a, a little, a little water on this, though. You do have to remember the Dolphins have no run game whatsoever, right? Yeah. Like, and against a team like the Bills that has a really strong pass rush and can constantly rotate guys in, it's going to be a real challenge when everybody knows. You know, Tyree Hill has a lot of experience carving up the Bills, but even with that considered, it's going to be tough for them to maintain this kind of effort if they can't get a run game going. And is are Raheem Mostert and Chase Edmonds really going to get that done? No, no, they're not. Zach, what was that stat that you shared yesterday about the comeback? Oh, uh, the Dolphin, or the, this is the first time from 2011 to 2022 that a team has come back in the fourth quarter down by 21. It was like zero and it was all 711. Time, right? It was all time, I thought. No, no, it was from 2011 to 2022. Wow. wow. And anyway, it was big for me because that keeps us in first place in the AFC North. <laughs> and despite losing to the Pats... Horrible game. That Miami comeback, we're first place still, and thanks to the Jets as well. So, so Miami, they, they Miami, have Miami falls. Oh, yeah. That is what's going to happen Finish to down. the Dolphins next week, right there. <laughs> there he goes. There yeah. he goes. So, Miami, they, they have our attention. We'll see if they can keep it next week. If they week. beat Buffalo, they're my Super Bowl pick. <laughs> I'm, 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 I will go on record right now if they beat the Bills next week. That's not like you to be so, to be you know, in the moment like that. No, no, because I'm high on them. I'm, I am. I'm high on this. Yeah. So, if they beat Buffalo next week, they're my but, but, but think about maybe, it. Maybe they, they, they'll, they'll be the cap of the week. Maybe. No. They, they think of, This is the last thing I'll say on this. Like, last year when we saw that great Bills-Chiefs game, it was like, oh, Allen, Mahomes, Allen, Mahomes, Allen makes play. And I just see there's no chance being Allen, Tua, Allen, Tua. And that's if the Dolphins' defense was there and they could get some stops, then it doesn't need to be Allen, Tua, Allen, Tua. Like, the Chiefs' defense could not get stops. The Bills' defense could not get stops. I don't think the Dolphins' defense will be able to get stops, so then it's going to have to be... Alan Tua. I mean, Alan Tua. Tua. I, but is Tua could be him. He's not him. He's if not. you think Tua we'll is see. him, we'll if you think Tua is him, <laughs> here's what you should do. Take the entire game, all the game footage from that Dolphins-Ravens game. Flip the footage so Tua looks right-handed, and you will see he is not making the throws you think he is. Really? That's interesting. That video is on Twitter. Twitter. I did say it. I haven't seen that yet. I'll have to go back. No, I mean, look, AFC Listen, if you think Tua's him, better on him to win the MVP because he's actually the leading. He would be with the stats. He's a favorite right now. Yeah. And you could still get his odds. What is he, like plus 3,000 or something? Sure, so take right. it. Yeah. No, you Do know, you know who the AFC top three is, passers is in the NFL right, are right now? you know who the top three passers are? Uh, well, I get, Tua has to be up. Yeah, Tua's Tua. number one. Tua's number one. Uh, t- who, who, else, who else is going nuts? Who went nuts? In? Jared no. Goff? T- nope. The number two is Joe oh. Flacco. Number three is Carson Wentz. <laughs> he, he, he if you want to so. place a guy on any of those uh, three he's, guys he's to win the MVP, guess. be my guess. If you want any of those guys to be your MVP, be <laughs> Listen, my guess. Listen, Joe Flacco's looking like he's going to lead us to 16-1. Hey, we'll, we'll, so. we'll get there. We'll get there.